All right, so I'm out here today and I've got, this is my dad, one of my dad's old guns. It's an Ithaca Model 410, or it's an Ithaca Model M66 Super Single. It's 410. Um, don't know much about it, but it's been one of my dad's favorite guns. Like I said, he got it when he was six or seven years old. He's used it for squirrel hunting and stuff like that. And I don't know about y'all, but I've been having a hard time finding some good 410 shells. So... I finally found some good ones. They're Remington shells. They're high brass three inch magnum shells. I think this, this is number eight shot. And it's got 11 sixteenths of an ounce of shot in here. That's a lot for a 410 round. So I got four of those, or three of those, and one quarter ounce rifled slug. And if you look right above the hurricane archery target. There's a steel plate in that tree and that's what I'm going to be shooting. First, just a bird shot. I hit that plate pretty hard. Do another bird shot. This time I'm going to shoot it left handed. Hit it pretty good. And now the fun part about 410s is since they're such a light gun, or especially this one since it's a single shot, such a light gun, put you a bird shot shell in there, just one handed. Still hit that plate. Alright, so now. Let me pull out my slug out of my pocket. And again, just a quarter ounce Remington slug. And this is not a three inch. I think it's two and three quarters, or two and a half. Let's see if I can hit that plate. I think I hit it. This is just a fun gun to shoot. It's hard to hit skeet with, but it's a fun gun to shoot. It's got a full choke in it, which is not the best for shooting slugs, but it works. So, let me see if I can find where that big old slug hit down here. Hopefully my battery won't die. Let's see here. You can see where the bird shot hit. That's where that slug hit. Hit a little bit high. I've never been really accurate with that. But it's fun to shoot. And those slugs aren't moving real fast. Since they're two and three quarters. I'd rather have a three inch magnum if I was shooting a slug. That's an old slug hole. That's the new one that I put. Um, that's like from. I shot one from the other side. And it made that big of a dent. But that hole right there and that hole right there are from a 3030. That might be the next gun review I do. But till next time, y'all stay safe and keep shooting.